The first thing we'll do is install Docker Community Edition. First, add the official Docker GPG key with this command. With that taken care of, you can then add the official Docker repository. Before Docker is installed, let's install a few dependencies with this command. Then update apt with this command. Finally, we can install the latest version of the Docker CE runtime engine. To use the docker command without pseudo privileges, add your user to the docker group with this command. You'll need to log out and then log back in for the changes to take effect. After that, you're now ready to deploy open project. This is the docker command to deploy open project. Make sure to change the IP address for open project underscore host underscore name. Otherwise, you'll wind up with a host name mismatch. You may notice that I've deployed open project with port 80 as the internal and external port. If port 80 is already in use on your server, you'll want to change the external port to something like 8080.
Keep all your game as and laws, as and laws. It's all the same as and laws, as and laws. Keep all your game as and laws, as and laws. It's all the same as and laws, as and laws. Before you attempt to access Open Project, give the container a few minutes to complete its deployment. One or two minutes should suffice. If you go with external port 8080, you may need to have users add the port to the address. Server should either be the IP address or the domain for the hosting server. On the main Open Project page, Click the sign in drop down and use admin slash admin as the credentials for the admin user. You will then be automatically prompted to change the admin user's password. Type the current password and then input and verify the new password, then click save. This is now the open project admin page, where you can start creating projects, invite users, and more.